Hi, Hi guys, it's Jake, Jake and Emma. Emma. Wow. So today we're going to talk about things you may not know about NYU. And considering that the NYU acceptances came out last Thursday, this is going to be really exciting for those who just got some great news. So basically, this is like the inside scoop from NYU students, the NYU experts, me and Emma. I think you have an NYU sweater on right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be like stuff that like you might not get elsewhere that if like if you just look up the school or look up articles in College Confidential, which I used to do all the time, uh, you're not going to get this information. This is like high secret level stuff. It's like the Gossip Girl level of secrecy. XOXO. So, you know, don't repeat this anywhere. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the secret dining hall. Uh, as you may know or may not know, NYU has a bunch of dining halls. Actually, one of the only Chick-fil-A's in all of Manhattan is in one of our dining halls, which Wait, I think- no, I think it's actually the only Chick-fil-A in Manhattan now. Oh, right. Um, th they opened one in Midtown, but it was infested with rats. Yeah, so, so if you want Chick-fil-A without rats... NYU. Exactly. <laughs> so what were we talking about? Oh, the secret dining hall. So the secret dining hall is something that a lot of people don't actually know about. And it's a gourmet dining hall called the Torch Club. Which is the most NYU thing in the world. What school has a gourmet dining hall? And what school names it the Torch Club? <laughs> Um, in case you didn't know, the torch is the symbol of NYU, so it's on a bunch of like our logos and stuff, um, as well as a lot of the buildings. And basically the Torch Club, it has the same food as the other dining halls, which is good. I mean, it's not like gourmet food, but it's gourmet atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, the food is, it's good. That did not sound convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, but the, the main focus really is the atmosphere there, because you kind of, you go into this like nice place and then you go downstairs and there's a fireplace and, and it's like all wooden and there yeah. are like like really nice tables uh i think they do like events there too but you can just eat there like one of our meal swipes which you get when you get a meal plan here gets you in and gets like is it it's all you can eat right yeah it's like a buffet thing and they have cookies a buffet is that not how you buffet <laughs> <laughs> it's a buffet <laughs> Comment below if I said it wrong, and comment below if Jake said it wrong. I didn't say it wrong, it's buffet. Shh, whatever. One of the next important things that you're going to need to know as an NYU student is NYU slang. So everyone will know that you're like, you know, an actual student here and that you're really like adept in the ways of city life. This took me three years to learn, I'm still learning, but <laughs> you know. It's a good thing to know. <laughs> One of the biggest pieces of NYU slang is what we call Washington Square Park, which is like our unofficial quad on campus. It's the center. It's got like a big arch, kind of like the Art de Triomphe in Paris. Um, it's, it look, actually looks a lot like it, but it's just it's a lot smaller, obviously. Um, but um, instead of calling this place Washington Square Park, we're NYU students. We're busy. We're doing internships. We're <laughs> doing part-time jobs. We have classes. So who has time to say all those words? So what we call Washington Square Park is simply... Wasquapa. Wasquapa. W-A-S-Q-A-P-A. -A. Yeah, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you could just say W-S-P, but then everyone would know that you were not a real NYU student because... I know this sounds like an actual joke, but it's not. Like, people actually call it that. Some people are known to call the subway the way... Uh, I think those people are just your friends, Jake. I don't know about anyone else who calls them that. <laughs> That's probably true. But Wasquapa is a real thing. Another thing you should know if you're moving here and you want to be like in with the lingo and everything um, is that there's a street called Houston Street. It's not pronounced Houston Street. But it's spelled Houston. So one yeah. of the fastest ways to see that someone is like not a local is that they're like, where's Houston Street? It's actually funny though because they mention this a lot. At, at least I remember my freshman year, people would talk about this all the time. Like I know, and I never hear people call yeah, it. Houston. I never, I never, and I also never really talk about Houston Street. But you know, <laughs> it's a good thing to know in yeah. case you do. I will say that, like, she's right. I really thought it would be a much more common problem than it was. Yeah. <laughs> like I thought all of my conversations were going to revolve around Houston Street. Oh, are you hungry? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about walking past Houston Street for some food. That's how you they know you're a local, so just work it in the conversation. All the time. Another thing that you should know are some of the sayings that we have here. Um, I think the best one I've heard so far is gay before me. And you can explain the meaning behind well, that. Well, it's kind of exactly what it sounds like. One of the running jokes here, you can see a lot of this on like even BuzzFeed articles about NYU, like the difficulty of finding straight people. Um, so the idea is that you may come to NYU straight and then you will be gay before May. Um, and May being the... Month. Like, the, yeah, the end of your freshman year, the last month of your freshman year, um, which is pretty funny, but also pretty accurate. Yeah, very accurate. And I'll let you decide <laughs> what we mean by that. <laughs> One of the cool things that a lot of people don't know about NYU when they're applying and even after they're offered admissions... 
are these things called exploration floors. And basically they're special floors in uh, our residence halls that like center around a particular interest. When you apply for housing, you can also apply to these floors. Basically you just have to write like three essays expressing why you're interested in the floors. And I know what you're thinking, that sounds like a lot of work. It's really not, it's like, it's like three paragraphs. Yeah, um, it's not bad at all. And they have a floor for pretty much everything. Um, there's a floor about food in New York City. Uh, there's a floor about like Broadway and film and TV. Basically, these floors have like triple the budget of a normal floor. Like every floor in NYU housing gets like a budget, uh, depending on how many students live on it. And then there's like different floor programming that RAs like Emma do with the budget. Um, but these floors have way higher budgets than normal floors. They cost the same to live on, um, but it basically means that you're going to get to do a lot more stuff in New York City. And it's the same, the rooms on the floor are the same price. Um, and it, Emma and I were actually in the big screen, big Apple floor our freshman year. Big Apple, year. big screen. Whatever. They're right, Jake. <laughs> anyway, we were both on this floor together because we both applied to it. Um, and it also increases your chances of getting into the specific um, building that you're applying for. Or that you're interested in. Yeah or, yeah, or that you're interested in. So we were both interested in Brittany Hall and we both liked movies and stuff. So we both applied to the big Apple, big screen floor. and. That's the rest is history. Other. Yeah. No, but it was really cool because we had a bunch of programs all the time, and most of them were centered around film, obviously, to fit the theme. Um, but, you know, we'd get to go to movies for free pretty often. It was yeah, like pretty often. Every weekend or if not more. Yeah, and then yeah. because movies aren't that expensive and these floors get such giant budgets, we actually did a lot of other things. Emma's first Broadway show was from this yeah. floor. Um, and you know Broadway tickets can be expensive and it was totally free for us um, They had so much money left over they took a retreat to upstate New York to go apple picking like so It's a no-brainer these floors not only do you get more programming You're with people who are interested in the same things that you're interested in and it's a nice way to help Guarantee that you'll get in the residence hall you want Brittany was one of the nicest residence halls So we were both like hey, I want to live there. Let me apply to this exploration floor, right? And people are lazy. People don't apply to these things because they don't want to do any work. Yeah, so, I like, I live on an exploration floor this year and it, because I wanted to live in Palladium, and guess where I live? Palladium! <laughs> Speaking of NYU housing, we have this awesome talent show every year that's organized through housing called Ultraviolet Live. <laughs> what? Ultraviolet Live? Oh, yes, Ultraviolet. Wait, what? Violent. Violent. Yeah, you just get up on stage and punch each other, and that's the last how... one standing wins. Yeah, that's what Jake and I did. Yeah, and we both were the last two, and then we didn't punch each other. It was and like the Hunger Games. I was about to say, <laughs> then they came on over the intercom, and then we tried to eat the... I'm getting going too far. Anyway, <laughs> let's forget all of that. Just forget it. Ultraviolet... Ultra... Our set's falling apart. Ultraviolet's violets live. Like, like the, the color. color. Yeah. Ooh. Well, um, twins. It's actually how Lady Gaga became famous. Okay, that's an overstatement, <laughs> but it's uh, like a university-wide talent show. And Lady Gaga did compete in it while she was a student at NYU. She actually won second place. Um, I actually yeah. won first place that year as a four-year-old child. Uh -huh. But yeah, Jake and I actually went to one of the preliminary stages of it. There are like different stages of the, um, the competition, I guess. Each residence hall is basically allowed to send someone to the main competition. Right. And so whomever wins... It's like Eurovision. Um, you know, the, the country first has its like little pickings, like semifinals, and then, then you elect whoever's going to go and perform. And then you have the big Eurovision competition, which is the big UVL or Ultraviolet Live stage. Yeah, so if you feel like you have a talent, this is a great way to get noticed because the NYU talent show means business. I mean, it's NYU. Yeah. Um, it's also held in our Skirball facility, which is actually the largest non-Broadway house in the entire city, fun fact. Mm -hmm. And it's where I have my physics lectures and I have my chemistry and bio lectures in there too. It's really cool. Just a little fun fact about NYU, uh, I think when we were sophomores here, maybe when we were freshmen, um, they were doing some construction on Washington Square Park, which I mentioned earlier is like the unofficial quad on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and basically you have to walk by it every day when you're going to classes. Um, and you get to, you don't have to. <laughs> you get the privilege. <laughs> and anyway, they dug up a big part of University uh, Place, which is an avenue, and they found a bunch of dead bodies underneath. Yeah, it's pretty cool, archaeological finding, if you think about it. Yeah, and now um, Emma and I are both haunted. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, you're like walking down campus, you might be walking over dead bodies without knowing it, but something really cool that I found out like last year, I think, is that there are also monkeys on campus. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like,
like in the research labs, there are monkeys. There are real monkeys in the labs. Wait, you got to see them? <laughs> no, um, you don't actually get to see them unless you're like licensed to work with them. But just the knowledge. So what? You literally <laughs> just found out <laughs> that there are monkeys yeah, in one because, of the buildings, and you didn't even see them. No, because one of my one of my teachers like works with the monkeys in the research lab, and it's like in the building where I have some of my lectures. Um, so it's like it's pretty cool. Yeah, just the knowledge just that the there knowledge. is a monkey near you <laughs> at all but times. It's weird. That you don't get to see or interact with, but it's there. <laughs> but you wouldn't think that there are monkeys just hanging out in the middle of the city, would Except you? these two. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was really bad. <laughs> so I hope these facts kind of elicited some excitement in you. Yeah, we really like going to school here. So if you have any like more questions, like more specific questions um, that don't involve dead bodies or monkeys, <laughs> then you can just leave them in the comments below and we might make another NYU video. I know that I had a ton of questions. Um, yeah. When I was looking at coming to NYU and all of the other YouTube resources were horrible. We're the only good one. So all the other ones are fake news, alternative facts. This is the real source. <laughs> Stay tuned. So thank you guys for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.